Odisha, an eastern state of India, can very well be called a land of plenty, blessed with a time-tested cultural heritage, an amazing array of stunning temples and breathtaking scenic beauty. The land has diverse ethnic communities and is endowed with significant mineral and natural resources. The mainstay of this ancient, vibrant state has always been agriculture, with around 61.8% people earning their livelihood from farming, the sector plays a major role in the state's socio-economic performance. But yes, more than 90% of the farming community in Odisha are small and marginal farmers. A section of these farmers suffer from abject poverty due to lack of diversification in farm produce and low levels of productivity. That apart, the state's tropical climate makes them combat natural calamities of varied intensity every year, which often results in severe crop loss. Their irregular and unstable income also leads to severe food and nutritional insecurity. For Odisha to reach its true growth potential, this situation needs to change. These marginalized communities need year-round availability of nutritious food and ready access to a stable income. ICRAF, also known as World Agroforestry, an international not-for-profit research organization, understood this urgent need. ICRAF has already worked in the area of transforming life and landscapes through the management of tree-based systems in more than 30 global destinations. The center submitted a streamlined project to the Department of Agriculture and Farmers' Empowerment, Government of Odisha. The agenda was to enable resource-poor, small and marginal farmers of the state to produce diverse and nutritious food through agroforestry systems. This would also generate a steady income for the farmers and support the Odisha government's strategy of reducing agrarian migration within the country. 28th February 2018, the project got approved for funding under the Rashtriya Krishi Vikas Yojna with an MOU signed between ICRAF and the Directorate of Soil Conservation and Watershed, Government of Odisha. Uh, we have uh, support of 19.18 uh, crore under RKVI to this project uh, for three years. The Odisha Agroforestry Project is a wonderful example of collaboration between uh, federal government, state government, and international partner, which is World Agroforestry, also known as International Center for Research in Agroforestry, or in short, ICRAF. To implement the uh, agroforestry project, the funding was given by the federal government to Odisha government, and then Odisha government passed this funding for implementation of Odisha Agroforestry Project to ICRAS. Two districts of Odisha comprising 20 Gram Panchats in Balangi district and 10 Gram Panchats in Nuapara district were earmarked as project sites with a coverage area of almost 5,000 hectares. These are acknowledged rain-fed districts of Odisha with frequent dry spells causing drought conditions. To start with, the project aimed to address almost 9,000 marginal farmers in these two districts within a time span of three years. The resource-poor, small and marginal tribal farmers here mostly grow single annual rice crop due to lack of water during the rabi season. This makes them victims of food and nutritional insecurity and prone to migration. These unfavorable conditions demanded well-structured objectives adopted and implemented by the project. The project action plan has been in convergence with the ongoing program of watershed development, Department of Agriculture, Horticulture, Forest, Bamboo Mission, Livelihoods Mission, Space and Remote Sensing, and State Seeds Corporation. Scientist farmer meetings were held ahead of the selection of beneficiaries. At the onset of the project as a confidence-building measure, almost 7,934 farming households were provided with improved varieties of seasonal vegetable seed packets. 
Selected farmers were also provided with a basket of agroforestry options based on their knowledge, resources and capacity. Without bringing the trees into mainstream agriculture, food system transformations is not possible, especially in the tropical country like India, where the smallholders dominated the agricultural landscape. The project brought forth a number of agroforestry innovations to the targeted districts. Mixed cropping of fruit trees with existing and high-yielding bio-fortified annual crops. Bund planting, where trees were planted on the boundaries of the fields. Establishing backyard gardens as new tree gardens to support year-round availability of diversified, fresh and nutritious produce. Set up new and certified nurseries for availability of seeds and high-quality planting materials. Linking these nurseries with established in-situ gene banks in the district and the state. A number of capacity building trainings are organized to train 1,618 trainers, comprising 1,150 men and 468 women, who further trained 18,612 men and women farmers. Numerous measures have been taken to address malnutrition and reduce fallow land on the given project sites. These were Biofortified and high-yielding varieties of paddy have been introduced with help from the National Rice Research Institute, Cutac. Biofortified lentils and high-yielding legume grass pea are also being promoted in this region during the rabi season. Use of hydrogel has been introduced with Indian and international composition. This helps plants to sustain the harsh summer by reducing their water requirements. About 90,000 such saplings have been planted. agri take system has been introduced with migratory farmers. This involves farming under solar panels so that even while generating electricity, there's no loss of cultivable land. This electricity is utilized by farmers to run water pumps for irrigation. Five kilowatts agri take system has been installed, generating 1,250 kilowatts electricity per month amounting to 3,488 rupees per month. Improved varieties of mango, apple bear, amla, jackfruit, etc. have been arranged from nurseries accredited by either the state or the National Horticulture Board. The Odisha Agroforestry Project covered 9,835 hectare area under different crop demonstrations, introduced Ratan variety grass pea in 3,057 hectare area of rice fallow and planted fruit trees in 6,510 hectares of agricultural landscape within the two districts is all set to complete its scheduled span of four years. The results are there for all to see. This Lakhdi Chana is a great place from the And it's very good. We had a lot of good things at home. We had a lot of good things at home. ये दो साल हो गए मिल रहा है अपने को इधर मना कर रहे हैं कि वो देसी वाला मत बो ये दे रहे हैं एग्रो फॉरेस्टी वाला यहाँ पर कोई साधन नहीं है पानी वानी का इसलिए पंद्रह धान कटने का पंद्रह दिन पहले ही से बोते हैं जो धान कटाई होने के बाद इसका उपज बार अच्छा मिलता है ऐसा है कि जो सीत में भी हो जाता multi-purpose trees that show the immense potential of agroforestry-based cropping systems for improving the nutritional security of the farmers in these districts. These interventions led by community members are changing the way nutrition is perceived in these traditionally impoverished areas. Women, youth and landless farmers were motivated to join as entrepreneurs by establishing and managing nurseries of seeds and high-quality, certified planting materials. The entire process was augmented by establishing two quality planting material nurseries, one in each district. training <laughs> Then I'm a poor Jesus and a security in a local level logger, come correct, Talisi. 
In all, 15 Nutri Gardens and 12,191 households were encouraged with each household cultivating five fruit plant saplings and vegetables in their backyards. The beneficiary farmer's average income after consuming 30% of vegetables and 50% of fruit produce from the very first year plants was 4,682 rupees per household. 36 women self-help groups took the lead in establishing village nurseries, producing and selling seedlings worth over 10 lakh rupees in four years, wherein each woman SHG earned a profit of 28,000 rupees. I'm a SHG group is two members. In 2017, SHG group was born. In 2018, Agro forest of Torobru, Agiamana Acetile, Amo Eseji, Mano, Mamanon Kusomaston Cohitile, Ombud Morachara, Aumungachara Koribaku, Agro forest of Torobru Moji, Politin, Anikori Amaku de Tile, Duhaja Otrore, Pansachara Coritilo, Amo Garo, Sobo Chassi Mananku, Bantitilo. Both project locations now feature an efficient and well-designed food system. Promotion of improved bio-fortified crop varieties such as CR Dhan 310 and CR Dhan 311 have significantly enhanced the availability of rice, a local staple food, while also contributing more than 10.3% added protein in the beneficiary's diet. Mola और मतलब 40 45 कट्टा होए के अनुमान है एकड़ में एग्रो फॉरेस्ट और एग्रीकल्चर के तरफ से जो ये पेड़ जो मिले रही से मतलब आम है आम जाम और बोयर ये सब मिले हैं ये सब लोग मतलब मेड़ में लगाए हैं उन लोग समझा कर बोले कि हम लोग छोटे जो पेड़ होगा उस टाइप का पेड़ देंगे बोल करके दिए हैं और वो लगाए हैं Grass pea was also introduced as a second crop, further improving the nutritional profile of the beneficiaries. In all, a total of 107.7 tons of protein, 163 gram zinc and 163 gram iron has been added to the food basket of the beneficiary farmers, enriching their nutrient profile during the four-year project. The Ikraf Odisha Agroforestry Project also registered five FPOs farmer producer organizations involving 53 farmers for production of certified paddy seeds of CR Dhan 310. Production of 64.3 tons of CR Dhan 310 certified seed has been procured so far by the Odisha State Seeds Corporation, building sustainable value into their seed chain. As part of the project model, farmers also planted high-value fodder species to improve their livestock productivity. For this, rooted slips of napier bajra hybrids, a perennial grass fodder with more tillers and leaves have been provided by the Jhansi-based ICAR Central Agroforestry Research Institute. The project also implemented NRM interventions in participatory mode in both districts at its two sites at Boirbhari in Nuapara and Tara in Belpara block. Buns in almost 85 hectare area and three ponds of 24,000 cubic meter capacity with a storage of 70,500 cubic meter have been created. These NRM interventions under the project helped water infiltration into the ground to the tune of 1.25 lakh cubic meters, harvested 85,000 cubic meters of rainwater and saved 714 tons of soil from erosion in order to facilitate 21,000 cubic meters of water for irrigating a second rubby crop. Water available in each pond also helped in harvesting fish production in the first year itself. Yet another positive impact to the project, it has brought down instances of migration. 12,888 migratory farmers stayed back to benefit from the project and 4 to 6 percent of them stayed back to adopt agroforestry. Before 2012, 2016, I was in Uttar Pradesh. I was in Uttar Pradesh. I was in Uttar Pradesh. 
ग्रुप वाला बोर बोर पाए और बावजूद में एग्री फोरस आगे मन संग जुड़े रुक दिन रुक दे के बावजूद में दवाई दारू सब कुछ दिन और धान दिन पचास पाकिट धान पाए और मूंग दिन और चाहला मछली दिन और बाद आप नहीं जाते हैं भट्टा उठी और भट्टा जाके नवद नहीं लगा थे ने मैं छोटे किसान हूँ मर परिवार है सात परिवार होता है हमने टोटल और अभी हमने है जो ने एक भी फर्स्ट डिपार्ट की ओर से अभी ट्रेलिंग पायें अब जो धान है झाड़ है खाद है और कीटनाशक है पानी परिवार बिहान है वो टोटल मतलब हमने ट्रेलिंग के द्वारा अभी किसानी कर रहा था तो हमने अभी बहुत आगे होगे और हमारे जो बाल लड़का मन है बाहर लेबर काम करे जा रही है तो अभी हमने हर पूरा टोटल अभी हमारे काम में ही मतलब भिजी हैं उड़ीसा सरकार और कृषि विरकोण ने जहाँ सुलर मिली चाहिए ये पानी अभाव लगी है तेल लगी इटा हैदराबाद जो तूना में अरे गोच कुट दी चंस सबू सरकार अरे इटा गोच कुट माया गोच आम गोच सबू जोगे चुं अरे आगरे चास करा ही चे कुबी बैगों धान कुमे जो पांच चकोर सबू मेसिगरी इटा चास करा हुई चे बोर बोर भल पैन बाहर हुई चे पौचाड़े बैगों इटा माखन सबू जोगा हुई चे सबू भल करे चास बास चले कुमा� छुआ मन को इटा टिक्शन पढ़ो जो बोर्ड बोर्ड हैले बोल करी चार साले बोल करी पाट पुटी पढ़ा मु पैसा पत्र सब हैले आगे सब सरकार तो सुविधा करी चन फार्मर्स ऑफ़ दिस टू डिस्ट्रिक्स हु यूज़ टू माइग्रेट आर नाउ कंसेंट्रेटिंग ऑन एग्रोफॉरेस्ट्री इन दे आर स्मॉल होल्डिंग्स एंड दे आर गेनिंग एलर्ट � to the living standard of the farmers in these two districts and we hope in future days other districts, those who will fall in line, will also be covered through this type of innovative project of ECRAF. About 33% drop in migration, that is a major uh, result or outcome of this project, I can say. But that's not all. The impact is far deeper. Easy provision of fuel wood has reduced the drudgery of women. That apart, increased tree cover has resulted in improved soil health, enhanced carbon sequestration, and a cleaner environment. This translates to an overall improvement in health of individuals in these two districts. Guided by ICRAF, intensely supported by the government of Odisha, and with enthusiastic local participation, the project has paved the way ahead for round-the-year availability of diversified and nutrient-rich tree-based food production. तो वो मैं अभी आमा जगह आया हूँ आमा जगह के पताली जगह आया हूँ और खातू धान सब वो देते हैं लिमाओ लुमा जाम जुमा सब दिन है क्या मन है तो वहाँ मस्त है वहाँ फसल का मात हो और पताली है एक लाख रुपए में बेच चुके ने वही आमा के झाड़ के नीचे मन में सब बगल बगल में सब जगह आया हूँ ट आगु भी कमाते हैं तो एक दिन सक्सेज नहीं होते हैं अज्ञान मन है पता ही ना हो करेले मस्त धारा लेके चलाते हों तो एकदम सक्सेज बढ़िया है आओ रुक रहे भी बढ़ा थे आओ उम्मी साल के इसने पताली जगह हूँ पहली तो कुछ मतलब नहीं रही है The smart agroforestry interventions of ICRAF have led to a 15 to 25 percent increase in the production of nutritional food in the targeted districts of Nuapara and Balangir of Odisha. These benefits have reached almost 30,000 people, directly or indirectly. The beneficiaries or the farmers who were involved in the project, they were very enthusiastic. They came forward and not only helped the 
innovations and other measures which we initiated, but they are very eager to cooperate and also learn from these scientific interventions. Working with these migratory farmers was a twin challenge for us. First and foremost is that these farmers were having a strong myth in their mindset that they could not sustain their livelihood from agriculture and allied activities. And that is the reason they are migrating to other part of the country. Secondly, to make them believe that how different agroforestry intervention can help them sustaining their livelihood while adopting them in their farmland. Scientists from KVK, OUAT, NRRI, Kafri and line department officials including seed certification officer were involved in district level training to progressive farmers, KVM, Asha and Anganwari worker. And for this, we are very thankful to all the line department who supported us to achieve this mission. The project is not restricted to field activities. Latest digital technologies have been used to develop an e-tool to promote agroforestry among the masses. A geoinformatics-based, user-friendly mobile application has been developed with extensive project data. This would guide the users in selecting the right kind of trees for a particular area and crop. To achieve the goals of the project, innovative approaches were introduced to transform agricultural landscape from largely monocropping to a tree-based diversified cropping system. We are really very happy to see the impacts of the project in, in a short period and how these initiatives of their projects have changed the lives of people living in the area. And this is prompting us to uh, outscale and upscale these interventions in other adjoining areas and other districts of Odisha. This project has been uh, an eye-opener for the farmers that they can uh, have better nutritious food. At the same time, they can also increase their income and they do not require much external support, but whatever resources are available with them. We can uh, upscale the experience in these two districts to more districts of Western Odisha. Please keep continuing this good work. My best wishes to you. Fruit and multi-purpose tree-based agroforestry practices can now easily be replicated and scaled in diverse ecological and socio-economic settings in different land holding sizes across the state. State government is planning to take up more and more agroforestry systems all over the uh, state. These uh, uh, agroforestry models, whatever taken in Balangir and uh, uh, Nwapada districts, uh, will uh, have uh, long-term, that is, uh, sustainable results will be obtained from the uh, interventions uh, of the farmers covered. With time, these practices are expected to uplift the socio-economic development of rural communities of the state. Here, their journey towards inclusive growth has started. Soon, with ready access to proper nourishment, they will be in a better position to plan and improve their future. <laughs> The process has begun. It is now only a matter of time.